Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Should subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> Don't regret it. <laughs> Don't regret it. If it happens before, it will not happen again. <laughs> it will not happen again, you know. The enemy have a way that they used to get this person to explain what he or she never wanted to explain. So you realize that what point is it to keep explaining yourself to people who are not really for you? So you are like, I explain myself and they use it against me. I speak my truth, they use it against me. I did this, they use it against me. It's okay. It will not happen again. The truth is that most of these things we experience as human in our, on our journey of life, all of them are traps that the enemy always set to capture us. But some of us, we fell into the trap, but that doesn't mean that we should remain in the trap. So the reason why God have you to know that it was a trap, it is to save you from the trap. So you don't keep falling into errors. That is why I said it's okay. It happens before. It will not happen again. You know, it happens. I just, I'm just speaking. I remember something that happened, I think many, a uh, few years back, you know, a few years back, I think when I was coming to Europe and there was this lady who was there. Uh, she was so matured and she was like one of the oldest. And there was something somebody told her. So when they get to where they are going, they were not speaking again. This old, this woman that she was so respectful of went and started telling everybody about what the other girl told her. And that girl was broken. I sat down and said, okay. Mm. I said, what are your lessons? I said, don't let it repeat itself again. Sometimes when we find ourselves in that situation, we can ask ourselves and say, well, Sarah, what is the lesson in this thing? What is the lesson? I said, okay, I will not let it repeat itself again. But I don't need to, to keep myself in guilt, blaming myself and all of that. But I have to prevent it. So next time, that person will not get my explanation at all. Hallelujah. Because we now understand that they always set trap. The Bible says in the book of Luke. Let's go to the book of Luke. <clears throat> the book of Luke. Let's go to verse 23. Hallelujah. I wanted to be sure because... My Bible is kind of, I don't know, it's not like very tiny. Maybe I'm going to get a bigger, a King James with a big, a big bold letter. Hallelujah. This place, the Bible talks about Pilate questions Jesus. And the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, we find this fellow perverting the nation. And forbidden to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ a king. And Pilate asked him, saying, Are thou the king of the Jews? And he answered him and said, Thou seest it. Then said Pilate to the chief priests and to the people, I found no fault in this man. <laughs> you see something? <laughs> They know that there was no fault in him, but they want him to explain. Then why explain to you? Why explain yourself to, to those who are against you? That is why I'm laughing. <laughs> it will never happen again, oh, you know. If Jesus can resist it, we can resist it. Because sometimes we can become too angry. I, I, I encounter a brother, and the brother said, 
Evangelist said, I could not take it today. I gave it to them. I gave it to them. I said, calm down. You gave it to who? He said, they have been provoking me, provoking me in my place of work. I could not bear it. I gave it to them. I started laughing. I said, calm down. Don't also provoke her. Come and give it to me. Calm down. Let's talk about it. You understand? <laughs> I started laughing at himself. He just calmed down. Sometimes that is where you, 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 you know, this journey is not just about uh, sometimes Bible seriousness. Sometimes that when you confront someone, it will relax the mind of the and the brother said, If I said I gave them today, I could not be it. You said we should not speak, we should be and I said I could not be it. I gave it to him, I gave it to them. I said, Who did you give it to? He said, ah, I did with them they, they, they in the my place of work. I said, Calm down. Calm down. He, he's, he continued, I said, ah, don't come and don't come and give it to me. Calm down, let's talk about it. The moment I said that, he was relieved, he started laughing, you know. <clears throat> Because on the way, I approached him, approached him to try to quench the anger that he was in at that very moment. Because I understand that he was feeling bad about his action. Yes, he was feeling it. He was feeling it. So that is why I started laughing. That some of us, sometimes, we get to that point where like, let me close my Bible first. Later, I'll come to prayer session. Oh yeah, let's do it. You know, it can get to that level. So, but sometimes we have to realize that most of those things, most of those things that we see, they are like they are they are traps. You understand? They are traps. So that is why sometimes we just we don't need to explain to people who are not really for us, people who have already concluded on what they want to hear, on what they believe. You know. We don't need to like keep explaining because you explain they will cause you they will they will cause you into anger like they would now i use their word okay they will make you to go into anger why because they don't want to hear your own what they will be hearing will be provocative to you what they will be saying in response of your explanation will be provoked provocative so you will not be provoked so sometimes you save yourself all that strength that was what Jesus did because he knows that there, there was a greater a greater challenge ahead. The question that was asking, he know that challenge will, that a greater one is ahead. He will be beaten, he will be nailed to the cross, he'll be stripped naked, a lot of things will happen, and all of that he knows. So he had to save his strength. And he knows after all of that that will happen, glory will be revealed. So you need to understand that sometimes. Most of the things you experience, it is a trap. I pray the Lord will give us the spirit of calmness in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.